Germany's chancellor with her preferred coalition partner, the FDP. Now, after four years' rule together with the SPD, hopes are being placed on more efficiency and harmony. But coalition talks face opposition. Outside, nuclear power opponents demonstrate, while inside, the two parties haggle over their objectives and the distribution of power and positions. The negotiators are calling for patience. It takes as long as we need, and we need as long as it takes to achieve a good result. When asked if negotiations will be concluded by the weekend, the chancellor declines to comment. Negotiations on a coalition agreement are said to be tough, as both sides fight for their political credibility. Take the issue of health care, for instance. The FDP wants to reverse a funding reform introduced earlier this year by Merkel and the Social Democrats. The Conservatives intend to keep these reforms because we're convinced they were right. We want a unified health care system that will endure, that doesn't need to be reformed every three years, and that's why we're going to discuss this at length. For Merkel, it's a battle over the things she accomplished in four years of coalition with the Social Democrats. For Guido Westerwelle, it's about fulfilling campaign promises and implementing his party's ideas after 11 years in opposition. This won't be a coalition of equals like the last government was, where you had two equally strong parties at the table. But the CDU would be well advised to allow the Free Democrats a victory or two so that they don't appear to back down on all issues. But that won't happen without a struggle. Both camps have debated internally how they should negotiate, how much they're willing to compromise on every issue. And with Germany facing a huge deficit due to the financial crisis, many conservatives say there's nothing left to distribute. The Free Democrats, however, don't want to give up their core demand for lower taxes. We will only be able to fix government finances if we have the courage to reduce the burden on citizens and businesses. And that's what the next government is going to do. Thank you. The designated vice chancellor radiates confidence. Chancellor Merkel uses her charm to counter any criticism from her own ranks. Her preferred coalition constellation is within reach. Her party's members now need to swallow the bitter pill of more deficit spending. Negotiations include reducing corporate tax and reforming inheritance tax. But how can the new government finance these changes? The new government is basing its policies on the assumption that they'll be financed by an economic recovery. And it's true, if the economy does well, it brings down unemployment and increases the jobs that contribute to welfare funds. And that would do a lot to help the government budget. But I believe it's still too early to be optimistic about that. There was talk of introducing a special supplementary budget, but that was apparently too controversial and is no longer in the cards. The technical details will be decided when we draw up the 2010 budget, and this will, of course, be carried out in an orderly, transparent and correct manner in accordance with the basic law. No one doubts that next week the Chancellor and her new Vice-Chancellor will claim their seats in the Bundestag. But until then, there's still work to be done. The coalition partners say they want to build on economic performance, but avoid neoliberal tendencies. They also say they'll protect social stability, families and the jobless. Whether the reforms will enable them to stay in power long term is something that will be decided at the next election by the German people. <laughs>